My name is Nikki Woodland and we opened Nectar on April 5th of 2007 and uh, we just decided to do this because we lived here in Moscow and there was really no other restaurants of this style um, and we were craving that since we moved from Portland and the space became available and we just decided to go for it, something that we always wanted to do. Um, so yeah, we, we opened and it's been going really well for us. What's your focus here? The focus is trying to use mostly uh, local ingredients and to change the menu um, seasonally according to what's available to us locally. Well, I've always um, had a passion for food and for just the whole dining experience. Um, so I went to WSU and graduated and just after that went to culinary school in, um, in Portland at Western Culinary Institute. Um, and after that just worked in different restaurants for different chefs in Spokane mostly. And then we moved down here so my husband could join his family business, which is beekeeping. Um, but you know, I could never get away from the food, so we ended up doing this. Um, I started out at Western in Bellingham, and I just um, I didn't I didn't care for the school that much, so I switched to WSU. I took a year off in between and traveled in Europe, and that's also really where my love for food developed as well. Um, all my sisters went to WSU, so that's why I didn't want to go there at first. But then it was nice to you know to be with my sisters and, and go to school together down in Pullman. So Brett and I are the owners. And I do the back of the house in the kitchen. I do all the menu planning and the ordering, everything like that, all the recipes. And then my husband, Brett, takes care of the front of the house. So he manages all the servers and the wine list um, and everything that deals with the front of the house. It's, it's, it's been neat to, to see the uh, excitement and the interest from lo local, from our customers. And it's been surprising how much they already knew about wine and also how much they were willing to to kind of branch out and try new things. And when we first opened, we have we have some a little more expensive wine compared to other restaurants in the area. And so we had a lot of people say, yeah, it's a little bit risky for a small town, but uh, it's been it's been really refreshing to see how interested people are in in wine, especially from Washington, Idaho. A lot of that because they, they are putting out some really nice wines, and it's also, uh, from a business standpoint, Walla Walla is so popular that it's, uh, it's what people are looking for, that's what they're interested in, and that's what they're asking questions about. Mm -hmm. Definitely, they're, uh, they're very curious. When we run flights of Idaho or um, even upstart Pullman wineries, uh, people are definitely interested in trying that. And for the most part, the price point is quite a bit less than Walla Walla, and so people realize that their wines are increasing in, in um, quality mm -hmm. and yeah, it's it's been a pretty easy sell because people aren't used to Idaho wines, and they but they they like they like supporting local too. Mm -hmm. Grew up in Lewiston. Okay. And uh, grew up in Lewiston. Went to college at Gonzaga in Spokane. That's where Nikki and I met, and I followed her down to Portland when she went to culinary school, mm -hmm. and we lived there for about three years, and that's where I kind of got into the restaurant business and, and wine. And we moved back here about three years ago and and set up shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my. Uh, my dad was a high school teacher for about 25, 26 years, and then just to kind of make ends meet when we were young, we had, there were four of his kids, and he, would, he was a beekeeper during the summer. And then just over time, he kind of uh, got more and more hives. And then he retired from teaching. My, one of my older brothers graduated from college and joined the business, and so they made it a full-time commercial operation with Fall Nation in California and Washington and then uh, honey production from Lewis and all the way up to Sandpoint. Hmm. Okay. And then we, we just try to incorporate the, the honey in our menu, in our uh, recipes as much as possible. Ah, hence the name. Yes. Uh, connection. Yeah, it used to be a travel agency, so it was all offices. Um, there was, it was divided into two different spaces. So it was a um, travel agency on one side and surveyors on the other side. So we had a lot of um, physical labor to do in, in the aspect of getting it ready to be a restaurant which we did all ourselves, except for the electrical and the plumbing. So it was a lot of work. It was eight months worth of work. So oh. it's been excellent. I think with um, with both universities and a lot of professors and graduate students, there's a lot of, there was definitely a market for a little bit more upscale restaurant, especially something that focused on wine. Um, WSU has a, you know, the enology program. So there's, there's a huge market of people that are very into high-end wines and food. Uh, well, we're both working on the front of the house right now because we found out that we're pregnant. 
So I've um, hired a chef who has excellent experience. He's worked at the French Laundry. Um, his family, he's owned a restaurant in Alaska since you know he was a little kid, so he's worked in restaurants his whole life. So I gave um, the duties of the kitchen over to him. We still plan the menu together, and I still work on recipes, and I take care of all the catering. Yeah, that's actually a big part of um, what we do here. We have a lot of catering, especially in the summer when we're doing a lot of weddings. And then around the holidays, we do a lot of Christmas parties. Um, so yeah, we're pretty much booked for December with Christmas parties, and then the summer was very full too. Does that make it uh, part of the reason why you only do dinner? Yes, definitely. We have a very small kitchen. Um, it's it's challenging just to get dinner ready with our small kitchen. Um, but I love catering, and so yeah, that's why we only do dinner, so that I can be in here during the day if I have a catering and try to get as much done um, so I can get out of here and let the dinner crew come in. I guess mostly because I'm a dinner person. I just love, I, dinner's always been the biggest meal of my day, and I just love that at the end of the day, sitting down um, to have a nice meal and a nice bottle of wine and finally relaxing, and you don't have to do anything after that. You know, it's just kind of the end of the day, and it's, it's nice, it's my favorite time. For the meal. I would think that in this uh, small town where there's still a lot of, um, you know, farmers and and the people that have lived here for a long time aren't used to the higher prices of food. So we try to keep it reasonable, um, and we try to attract the students too. So we have a range. We have our mac and cheese is on the menu for nine dollars, but our steak is for is twenty five. Um, so we have a big range, and I think that attracts a lot of people. The one that stands out the most is the meatloaf. Um, we do a meatloaf wrap with pancetta and then a barbecue, chipotle barbecue glaze, and it's served with local carrots and mashed potatoes. Um, that's definitely been our most popular. It's been on since we opened, and I, I love to change the menu and I get bored with the menu, so I was going to take it off, and being in a small town, everyone heard about it and asked me not to, so it'll stay on.